You have a Whirlpool Duet that's not drying clothes properly. It's uh, not blowing any hot air. Uh, so today we're going to take it apart and see if we can figure out what's going on. So the model number can be found just inside the door. Uh, this one is a YGEW 9200LQ0. Um, so if you need to order parts, uh, you need to find your model number and it's just on the inside of the door. So the first thing we always want to do when we're working on anything is uh, unplug it to make sure that we prevent any electric shocks. Next we want to remove this bottom panel here and to do that we're just going to need a quarter inch hex bolt driver and there's two hex bolts in each corner, one in this corner and one in the other corner. Once the hex screws are removed, this bottom panel should just drop and slide out. So the uh, heating element and the thermal fuse and the thermostat are uh, located just on the right side, the bottom right side here. So first we need to unscrew this hex bolt here and then we can remove the uh, element and test it. Now we want to remove the uh, heater housing and to do that there's just two hex bolts that are holding it down here. So we're just going to use a quarter inch socket bit and unscrew those. Once the heater housing is disconnected here, uh, you should be able to pull it straight out. Um, there are some wires that you may need to uh, disconnect from the bottom. So it's a good idea just to clean out all the lint here so you can actually see what you're doing here. So I'm going to clean the lint out. It's not a good idea to keep it hanging around here anyway for fire reasons. So uh, good opportunity to clean out the lint. Find out where your wires are attached to the uh, frame there and then disconnect those so you can pull the whole heater unit out. Once the uh, heater assembly has been disconnected, I'm just going to remove this wire right here so I can pull the assembly out. Uh, it's clamped down to the uh, floor of the dryer, so if I remove this one I should be able to pull the assembly out. So sometimes it's tricky to get these off. Uh, I'm just going to use some needle nose pliers to slowly back off, back it off, and then you should be able to remove it from the assembly. Once you uh, pull it out a ways, there are a couple more wires here that uh, need to be disconnected. So um, I can get pull it fully out. So I'm just going to disconnect those from the thermal fuse here. There's your high limit fuse or high, high limit thermostat, and there's your thermal fuse here. So I'm just going to disconnect the two wires to the, uh, the thermal fuse, and I should be able to pull it right out. I had some electrical tape joining the uh, red and black wires. So I'm just going to use an exacto knife just to. Cut that so I can uh, take this unit out. Once we have the heating assembly uh, removed, we want to use a multimeter to test the uh, thermal fuse, the high limit thermostat, and the heating element to make sure that they still have a resistance and that the, uh, the circuit isn't open. So the first one I'm going to test here is the thermal fuse. And you can see on the multimeter that we still have a resistance, so the thermal fuse is okay. Now we're going to check the resistance on the thermostat, the high limit thermostat, and it looks like we have a resistance there, so I think the thermostat's okay. And last but not least, I'm checking the element, the heating element itself, and it looks like I'm not recording any resistance on that heating element. It looks like it's an open circuit, so there's probably a break in the, uh, the heating element, so we're going to remove that and uh, see if we can no find a break and order a new one. To remove the uh, heating element from the housing, we just need to remove this... Uh, quarter inch hex screw here so I'm just going to use my uh, socket and remove that. Now you can just pull it straight out. You're going to need a little bit of force. It's, uh, it doesn't come easy but it will come straight out once uh, you get that screw removed. Now that the uh, heating element is removed I can actually see that the uh, it is open. It's broken here so uh, I'll have to order a new heating element and that should uh, fix my problem. All right, so we have our uh, new element. So we're just going to slide that right back into the housing and then secure it with the mounting screw there. So we slid the element back in and we're gonna just put the mounting screw back on to secure it. Once the uh, heating element is secure inside the housing, we can uh, reconnect one of the wires. Uh, it'll be easier to, to do now while the uh, housing is out outside the dryer um, and we'll have to connect the other two um, when we get the unit back in there's one to, that goes to the uh, fuse and then the other one that goes to the heating element and uh, then we're going to slide the housing back in 
and this piece here just has to fit over the uh, duct that's at the very back of the dryer so get that nice and snug in the back here and then we can uh, screw it back down to the dryer floor once the housing is uh, slid back into the back I'm just gonna secure the uh, mounting bracket again to the bottom so that it doesn't slide back out now that the uh, heating assembly is uh, mounted back to the floor we're ready to uh, connect our power wires to the uh, element so uh, there was a silver one and a gold one the uh, silver one uh, was located or hooked up to my heating element and the brass or gold plated one here is uh, actually hooked up to my um, thermal fuse so I'm just gonna hook that back up and we should be good uh, once the wiring is all connected again we just have to uh, place this uh, protective plate back in front of the uh, heater assembly right there so we're just going to screw that in. Last but not least we just need to uh, secure our bottom panel on again so we just uh, slide that up and over and then put the two hex screws in the... Uh... Alright we're now ready to plug it in and give it a try. Anyways that's how you fix a common issue where your dryer is not providing heat to uh, dry the laundry.